Question 2. A. Reflect shape P in the line Y equals X. This is the line Y equals X. Remember, the reason it's called Y equals X is because everywhere on the line the Y coordinate is equal to the X coordinate. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, or 3, 3 again along the corridor up the stairs, remember. 4, 4, 5, 5, and so on. So, reflection. Diagonal. Some people struggle with this. Just remember that reflection, the path of the reflection has to cross the mirror line at 90 degrees. So this one's going diagonally and that point there is going to be the same distance away from this line as its reflected point. So that is half a diagonal from the line. So go half again and put across. So that's going to be the reflection of that point. This point here is one and a half. So go one and a half again put across. And this point here is two diagonals from the line, so one, two again, put across, and then join it up. I'll do it quickly, but you'll use a ruler, won't you? Okay, there's our reflection. If you look, you can do it diagonally, just to make sure. See? Right, question B. Describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle A onto B. Now, because the two, the two shapes are the same size, you've got three choices. You've got rotation, which means shape A has been rotated somehow to B, and it obviously hasn't because it's facing the same direction. You've got translation, which means A has been moved left or right, up and down. Or you've got reflection, like we just did in the last question. This is obviously translation because they're in the same orientation, they're both pointing upwards, so that has moved to there. And you've got to describe that. So describe fully the single transformation, two marks. First mark is by saying translation. And the second mark is giving a vector. Translation, and choose a point, see how far it is from the same point on the other one. So if you look, you're going to go left 2, so that's minus 2 here, and then left 2 down, 1, 2, 3, 4, so minus 4. And it doesn't matter which point you choose, if you choose the top one, you've got to get to that top one, so it's still minus 2, and left 2, minus 2, and down 4 is minus 4. So just remember with the vectors, the top number is left and right, left is negative, so minus 2 means 2 left, right is positive, so for example 5 right would be 5. The bottom number in the vector is up and down, so up is positive, down is negative, so minus 4 means 4 down. So 2 left, 4 down is minus 2, minus 4.